Thank you for inviting me. This is the fourth Japanese speaker. So please bear with me. I am the leader of Green Float Project, the Botanical Futurist Initiative. I work for Shimizu Corporation, and I am in charge of city and building planning. Before I get into the future city concept, let me first talk about the current technology. First, earthquake. The recent earthquake caused a huge damage even in metropolitan area, which is far from the epicenter, having ceiling collapsed and huge uh, furniture toppled over. Even though the building itself is strong, it will not necessarily guarantee the safety of our lives. Please take a look at the picture of Kamakura, Great Buddha. It represents the beginning or dawn of the earthquake prevention measures. The Great Kanto earthquake occurred about 90 years ago. And after several years later, they go through the little fit and introduce the seismic isolation system. The concept is a little bit difficult, but technology is quite simple. A stainless plate was put between the Buddha and its pedestal. That's it. If the quake hit the area, Buddha will slide a bit, but the Buddha itself remain intact. Seismic isolation structure has improved since then. And now, just like the willow, they will receive but release the seismic force. At the basement of the building, we will put the dumping rubber. And just like the willow, it moves flexibly, so it can stretch maximum 50 centimeters meters to one direction. So up around five, per five centimeters to 50 centimeters, they can dump the seismic force. If the ground shakes, the building shakes too. But uh, on the right hand side, you can see the seismic isolation. Even though the basement may move, but the building itself sways slowly, just like this ship in the ocean. So just like the just three percent of the construction cost, we can guarantee the good safety and relief. Right now. 2,500 buildings with seismic isolation system were installed in Japan. Now, then, what shall we do about the existing buildings? This is a historic building, actually two buildings. After several years of construction, they, the buildings were jacked up and put the dumping rubber at the basement. So it's attack uh, earthquake resistant. Not only the horizontal sway, but also vertical shakes, we have invented some measures to prevent. So it's become the 3D technology. Next environment. After the quake, we are facing energy challenges. I think nobody has expected that we should ha we have this kind of the challenge. The yeah, food stop page now shows power usage forecast, as you are all aware. Now we turn off the light in the office on a sunny day. Have you ever seen this kind of window blind? By pre-programming the height of the sun and the window blind is automatically arranged to have a better angle of the blind slates so that your rooms will be uh, well illuminated. Air conditioning will be improved. Currently, we use the duct and the air ventilation will occur and try to cool the entire room. However, if you enter a tunnel, no Wind is coming, but it's cool. 
the ceiling and wall materials are cool, so you can feel them cooler. And this is so-called the radiant air conditioning. The metallic ceiling panel are cooled, so you can feel cooler environment. Without having any air draft, some people doesn't like the air conditioning draft, but it can reduce the energy usage too. In office, the office, some areas are well highly populated. Other areas are not populated. Some people like the cooler room temperature. Others like moderate temperature. By having a sensor recognized us, we can provide a comfortable room temperature. This is the highly advanced office environment. Next spring, we will complete the new headquarter building for our company. All the technologies are incorporated. Energy and carbon dioxide emission will be reduced by 50%. So we call the carbon uh, reduction building. So after that, what we should aim at? Carbon, after the carbon half, by using the natural energy, we will create a zero energy building. So we call it ZEB. And after that, I will introduce you the green front. We will consume the carbon dioxide around us so that we can create the carbon-free environment. Just wait a second. So up until now, I have talked about the currently available technologies. So after hearing my story, do you think that our city environment and the safety are good enough? Can we innovate our life? The answer is, I don't think it's not good enough. Unfortunately, if I stay, if we stay as is, it's not good enough. Individual buildings are optimized, but we cannot make a paradigm shift. We need to consider the city as a unit. And as, a, as this unit of the city, we need to change the paradigm completely. We, our company, promote green float for the last three years. 30% of the surface of the earth is the land. However, we are suffering from various uh, the corruption. But Japan is an uh, environmental uh, friendly uh, city, and we are surrounded by ocean. So green and ocean float, just these two technology we need to incorporate and new concepts should be implemented. We are aiming at achieve this initiative by the year 2025. Please take a look at our. It is a new conceptual model for environmentally friendly cities. The idea is to construct artificial islands in the equatorial ocean with the aim of achieving self-sufficient carbon negative cities with zero waste. え、赤道直下というのは温度が一定です。暑いですけど温度は一定ですね。それから台風も来ないということで安定した気候です。そこにこの1000メーターのタワーを作ると1000メーターですと上が涼しくなりますので、ちょうど1年中26度の空中都市
、えー、自給自足のためのこれが植物工場でここで野菜を作りますそれから下のこういうところで穀物を作ってさらにこういう浅瀬で、あのー、お魚だとか藻だとか、まあ、そういうようなものを一斉するとここで出る CO2 や排水がここの植物工場に来ると栄養になるわけですね CO2 も排水も生ゴミもでさらに浄化してここの畑で栄養になってでここの,あの浅瀬のところの海洋牧場でさらに栄養になるとでここからは魚で帰ってくるとこれは穀物で帰ってくるとこれは野菜で帰ってくるというふうな自然な循環をする都市を考えています Out of consideration for the marine environment to ensure that light can reach the ocean depths green float isn't fixed in place instead it floats slowly on the ocean current Green float will be built by marine smart engineering utilizing the buoyancy force of seawater. This will enable it to be built safely and efficiently. それからもっとソフトに新しい経済システムですとか CO2 排出権取引でこれのお金を出さなきゃいけないんでそういう経済システムそれからどっかの国のものになっちゃうと不公平になりますので国際協調のシステムこういう建築と環境と社会システムとこの3つが大きなテーマです。えー So, city should become a unit, and we will conduct the paradigm shift. Thank you very much for your kind attention.